Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Juana and I am the Crafty Puerto Rican. Um, this company called Mighty Hoops sent me a box for me to review and I can't wait to show you. It is something very interesting. So let's go at it. You know that I love my Mighty Hoops and I use it all the time. Um, I think they are the best thing ever, <laughs> especially the Hoop Master and all the... Um, freestyles um, boards that they use for hooping. So Mighty Hoop have sent me this box to review and I'm going to open it. I'm not exactly sure what um, they sent me. Um, I want to know what it is so that I can share with you and then do some projects using them. Um, So they send some items and this is a piece of hardware, some backing holders. I had done videos already on how to use the backing holders. I did it the last video I think I used or the one before the last I used the um, A by 13s. You know, you can order this directly from Mighty Hoops. I will link them below on the description box. Oh, this is cute. This one is the um, nine by three. And this I can use um, like to do a long, um, you know, design on a shirt on the top. Or, you know, instead of using the big hoop to do a nine long design, like, for example, something like this, that I'm gonna be doing on the SC1900, you can embroider this like that on a shirt. This is perfect for that. This one is a nine by five same thing so it's the same width of the other one but it's a little bit taller so yeah and these are the parts that i need to put them together and also the 4.25 by 13 slip fixture oh this is so nice and the part that let me see what I put in. Oh, this is the other part that come with it. This this will go into the top. So the way I use this is that I put it on the um, stand that came with the uh, the seven by seven that I already have. You can just just switch that board. Let me show you. You you will switch that board on the bottom. You will take it off, and then the stand that is holding you will use to hold this board. This freestyle board, okay? I can't wait to start using them. Um, but it does come with the instruction on how to put them together, especially on that board that I just showed you right here. These are the instructions. Instruction for using adjustable sleeve fixture. So, to show you how that arm is gonna go. I'm gonna take this out and if you have any doubt about how to use this, um, I have a video that shows how to use this. This is a 7.2 by 7.2. So what you have to do is take off the um, this board from here and it just engage in there. That's all you have to do. Take it off like that. It had these little knobs in here that engage to these holes in here. You just take it off and you're going to interchange them with this board. And I will take this off of here, unscrewing it from here. So all I did was loosen it up in here and pull it, pull it off. It's very easy. You see this screw? It goes in here like so and then you just pull it okay 
and if you see this right here goes in this little nipple in here okay that's how you engage it so this board is for this board and this applies to the um five by five freestyle in here this has its own board same way and if they say that i want to use this to hook the five by five so i will take i will do the same thing take you back here all i will do will be to get this roof pull it up because it will not match here and then i fasten it then I put my five by five here. And if you want to do the know the rest, go back to my video because I have a video tutorial on how to use this one. I have already showed it. I applies for the five by five and apply for the 7.2. All right, same thing. All right. So now I'm gonna try it on the board that they just sent me. So I just take this one here and I'm making a mess on my table. That's okay. And then I'm going to take off the board because I don't need the board. All right. Okay. So this is going to be a longer board. I'm looking for the groove in here. This is the groove in here. Let me take you down. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put it here, like so. And if you notice, there's a hole in here. This hole in here is gonna be matching this hole in here. And that's what I'm gonna make sure that it matches. It matches, because you know, it doesn't go this way, okay? So you're gonna be looking for the groove where the numbers are. And make sure that the board has this, um, how do you call this? I don't know. Make sure that um, this is on the top, all right? You just slide it in and push it down. Ta-da! And then, um, of course, this part, this is the hardware that came with it. This you're gonna be using to slide it in in the board. I'm gonna put it on, but I'm gonna show you in a more detailed video when I do a garment. Because believe me, I'm gonna do a garment. I can wait um, on how to hoop it. But this will go through here like so, okay? And you will fasten it, okay? We'll fasten it in here. There you go. And this, I'm sure you can do all this stuff more than just sleeve or pants arm legs. I'm sure you can do a lot of things with this board. Okay. So I'm gonna slide it in again. Make sure that it's down, slide it in, and there you have it. I can do a better job at make sure that it's level up. Um and that's it. So yeah, I am very excited about it. So I'm going to show you, for example, I'm going to take this apart. It applies the same way that applies to all the other uh, Mighty Hoop um, freestyle that I have used before. It's the same thing. This part, smaller one, will fit only here. This is too narrow to fit here so you know that the white part goes on the top and the narrow part goes on the bottom and i will adjust it first 
and then I will just start it. And then you can leave it like that if you know you know plan to use this for with the nine by three. This is a nine by three hoop, you see. So when you do sleeves or something like that or pan legs, you know that it goes like that. Okay, so this is already will be hooked. So if you're gonna do a garment or, or whatever, you know, you will know that this is the way you're gonna hoop it. Same thing is gonna apply with the nine by five. This is a nine by three. All right, FYI, uh, when you're storing your hoops, instead of putting it right like this again, you turn it to the wrong side to store it because it's less magnetic. Because then when I use it, it's easier for me to, dis to dislodge as opposed to, you know, um, doing it the way it was meant to do. I do it to the front, front with front, and it's easier for me. That's what I do all my mighty hoops. All right, so I have already installed the handles on the hoops. Uh, very easy process to do. Um, it only takes um, screws to put it on, on, on the sides. Very straightforward, and I can't wait to do my first project. I have so many things in mind, but one in mind in particular that I'm gonna be using this because I can't wait to do my first sleeve embroidery. So I hope that you are as excited as I am. See you later. Bye. Hasta luego.